What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the title Boxing Quick Puncher. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythms right Alright guys, so I have the title Boxing Quick Puncher right here. And it is actually a co-branded product, or say should I say it's a um, life lifeline fitness product. Um, so it's actually not a title boxing product. It looks like title boxing just uh, rebranded it under theirs, but they're using the same packaging. So when I received this in the mail, it came in this packaging. I was a little confused at first because it doesn't have any title boxing logos or anything that would signify that this is a title boxing product. It looks exactly like they have on their website and in the little video that they had, the video clip. But you can see here, it just has a pretty generic box with a couple pictures on it, basically talking about it. And what's actually in the package comes with a plastic base. So you can see there that's, you know, pretty cheap, a cheap plastic base that has threads at the bottom right there. Threads right here for, for it to screw into. Um, it comes with this bag of sand and then this plastic piece right here that this lid right here screws onto. So um, I obviously leave the sand in the bag. That way it doesn't just fall and get all over the place. Um, I'll talk to you guys here in a minute about this. This is kind of a flawed part of the product right there. Um, then we have just the foam packaging that everything came in, in the styrofoam. Um, and then the actual reflex ball. So you can see uh, the top has a standard eyelet hook. This is what's going to screw into the ceiling. So if you live in your home, you have a garage, even if you're in an apartment, this right here is the only thing that you'll really have to modify in your house. Um, other than that, you don't have to worry about mounting anything to the floor. That's what this piece right here is for. But this right here is gonna have to mount into your ceiling. And then you can see it, it comes with um, this plastic little cover that goes around this elastic and it has a clip that keeps everything together with that little tied knot and then you have this elastic cord which is a uh, about eight feet in length and then you have about a three and a half inch foam ball you know it's pretty firm it's soft um, I would say it's maybe about the size a little bit larger than a tennis ball but you can see it's very soft to the touch and then it has these compression clamps right here that you can use to adjust where you want the height of the ball now when I have everything is set up I'll show you how that works and then lastly you have this piece right here which screws into the base um, right there so you can screw that into the base and this is basically the base of it which holds the ball into place so I'm gonna set everything up and then we'll see how this thing works it took me about 10 minutes to set up this quick puncher, not very long, pretty easy setup. You can see here is the base, the elastic cord, the foam ball, and where I attach it to the ceiling. So uh, mounted here in my garage, this is where I do some of my training. But starting at the top, it came, comes with that little eyelet uh, screw. And here in Arizona, we just have drywall on stud. That hook doesn't need to go into the stud. And the reason I say that is there's not much weight to this foam ball. So the actual momentum of it swinging, you won't really have to worry about it ripping out of the drywall. Now, if you do have a stud and you decide to go right into the stud with it, that's totally fine. It'll just be a lot sturdier. If you live somewhere where you have concrete or some other form of material that's a lot sturdier than, than drywall, then you'll have to use a drill and drill a pilot hole before you screw that in. So. Um, you can see the elastic cord is, is decent. It's good enough for home use. If you're planning on adding this to a, a regular gym, if you're, you're a commercial gym owner, I, I definitely would recommend not doing that. Just get yourself a standard double end bag uh, with some, you know, with some um, bungee, bungee cords or whatnot from the hardware store and go that route. It'll last a lot longer. Um, if you're using this for multiple you know, people at the gym, this thing will probably get destroyed within a couple of weeks just because it's not built for, for commercial use in my opinion. So here's that three and a half inch foam ball. Again, it's pretty lightweight. This is less, more or less for, for speed and reflexes. Another cool feature is these compression clips, obviously, which make it again, 
to where you can adjust the height of it on the fly. So now, if you're training, you know, maybe a child, obviously they're shorter, you can adjust the height of it to make it lower on the fly and not have to worry about redoing it or unhooking everything and, you know, taking another 10 minutes to adjust it. So again, the convenience factor of that. And then at the base, you have the plastic base with this plastic uh, tension adjustment. So the way this tension adjustment works, it's really basic. All you have to do is wrap the, extent, the elastic cord around that to make it tighter or undo it to make it looser. So depending on how tight you like the, the, uh, the rebounding to be, you can do that there. Um, and then here's the flaw I was telling you guys about earlier, is this plastic base is filled with that bag of sand. Uh, and basically just screws on at the bottom. So you can see the base is screw on. And what I was finding was when I was hitting this bag, or when I was hitting the ball, this plastic base would just pop right off, off, off the thread. So what I ended up having to do is I got some Gorilla Tape and I taped it shut. That way it doesn't pop off. But this base is about five pounds. And it, with the weight of this ball not very being very heavy, you don't have to worry about this base scooting around. So that's the good news. So let's test this thing out. All right guys, so I have the title boxing quick puncher here set up. And you can see that I have it adjusted to be about nose height when I'm in my, my boxing stance so that um, it's at a good level. You know, obviously you can lower it or raise it up just depending on who's hitting it. But you want it to be right about nose level so that when you hit this thing, it rebounds just to kind of simulate a little bit of defense for you to work on, working on head movement. Um, and you can see right now I have the tension at a good level. And it works nicely. It rebounds back. It's pretty erratic. You know, you are forced to think a little bit. You can work on some speed. Um, this thing's not meant for power. It's not, you know, a, it's not a heavy bag. I wouldn't sit there and, and wail on it. Definitely for timing and reflexes. I've had this for about a week now, and I've used it a few times, but I haven't had any issues with the top of it coming out of the ceiling or the, the, the base of it moving around. The only issue I had with the base is the, the base popping off of the threads, which again, I corrected that by just putting some tape on it. Now the big thing with this, this quick puncher is the convenience of using it and the price. So Tidal Boxing sells this for $29 for so 30 bucks uh, plus shipping. Now granted you can um, get a coupon. I know Tidal does sales throughout the year and you can definitely get a, a minimum of 20% off on this um, which makes it cheaper but if you go on to Lifeline Athletics which I'll put the link down below in the description box they sell this exa same exact quick puncher for $24 or $24.99 so $5 cheaper and it's free shipping so you're getting the same product for $5 cheaper well not even say $5 cheaper you're getting it for you know what's ground shipping from title like 10 bucks so you're actually getting this for $15 cheaper if you were to use um, lifeline athletics over title boxing and you're getting the same exact product um, if you again were planning on putting this in your gym I would definitely not do that it's just not meant for gym use It's better for this is one of those things that you put in your home that you can use yourself or you want your, your, your son or your daughter to get into boxing and these need something to hit this is good for that um, I could imagine you possibly being able to replicate something like this pretty easy from like Home Depot if you were just to get some elastic cord, some of these compression clips, and maybe a tennis ball that you can drill through, and then a weighted base. You would have to figure out a way to get a base. But for the price that you pay for about $24, it might just be worth getting this because you already have everything there for you, um, and you don't have to worry about having to, to find every little piece to make your own quick puncher, especially for $24 with free shipping. By the time you probably find the pieces you need to make something similar to this, you're probably down 20 bucks anyhow. So uh, for the convenience of it and the fact that they already built that little tension piece at the bottom where you can wrap it to make this, this tighter and it comes with the clips and this foam ball, um, it's a pretty good deal um, considering what's out there. Um, it's basically a double end bag, that's all this is. That's just for home use in my opinion and it's convenient. So I definitely like how it rebounds and the way it feels. It's very lightweight. So you're more or less working on being quick with your hands, 
hence the, the title or the name of the product, the quick puncture. And again, it's good for head movement, moving your head so you don't get hit, hit in the face. So I definitely like the use of it, what it's intended to do. Work on speed. Movement. It's not like that reflex cobra bag that I did a review on. This reflex cobra bag has a lot more weight to the bag itself. So when you hit it, you get more of a, a, a conditioning workout because of the weight of this, this cobra bag. With this, you still get a good workout, but it's just more of like at the end of your workout. If you're done with your training, you did some road work, you hit the heavy bag, uh, and you need something to kind of cool down and work on your, your timing and your reflexes and just your hand and eye coordination, then this quick puncher is nice. I also like the fact that you don't really have to do too many modifications to your, to your home with it. The only thing you have to do is screw it into the ceiling because it comes with a weighted base already. So I definitely like the fact that you don't have to do too much to get this installed. Um, the other big feature with this too, now that I think about it, is that it doesn't make a lot of noise. So if you live in an apartment somewhere where you can't have a lot of noise because your neighbors will get pissed off at you, this is really nice because it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. And when you hit it, that's really all you hear. I mean, my voice is louder than the sound of this thing moving around. So it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's fairly quiet. Um, so again, for those of you that live in an apartment, I think this is worthwhile. If you do screw it into the ceiling in your apartment, all you gotta do is get yourself some drywall patch and just patch that little hole up there and nobody will ever know you did it. But uh, I've seen those ones where you can mount the bag in a doorway, but I'm not a big fan of that because all it does is just go back and forth. It does, that one in the doorway doesn't really have any erratic motion to it because it has all of these cords stuck to the middle ball and that middle ball literally just stays right in front of you. So um, to me, that, that's not really a good tool, especially for the price where th with this for you know 25 bucks, um, you can really work on it. The other thing I noticed with this is um, this compression clips sometimes will move um, up and down. So you have to kind of readjust it. It's not a huge deal, but just something I noticed. And punching this with your bare hands too, I wouldn't recommend that because you end up hitting these plastic clips. And if you're punching hard enough, it'll you can definitely feel it. So. Just use some gloves or at least minimum, use some hand wraps and you'll be fine. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review of this title boxing, quick puncher. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave your comments down below in the comments box. I'll leave the link in the description box and where you can find this quick puncher at. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.